Hello everyone, this is Mansoor Mustafa. In this video, I'll discuss the revised syllabus for the O-Level Physics 5054, uh, which will be effective from the year of 2023 and onwards. First of all, I'll discuss the syllabus which is being removed, means ke the topics which are being removed from the uh, physics syllabus of O level 5054 from the year 2023. Then I'll discuss the syllabus which is being added. Means ke what are the new topics which are being added in the syllabus. And finally I'll discuss the paper pattern. Ke what are the new paper, what is the new paper pattern, what are the changes which will uh, be effective uh, in the paper pattern and the marks distribution from the year 2023 and onwards. Uh, now, uh, remember one thing at this stage uh, you must remember one thing that the students who are appearing in the exams in the year 2021 or 2022 they will have the same syllabus and the same paper pattern there is no change for those students these changes will be effective uh, from the year 2023 and onwards so let's start with the content which is removed now first of all these two topics uses of manometer and transmission of pressure in the hydraulic systems they are from the chapter of pressure now these two topics have been eliminated they have been removed from the content of the new syllabus now next two topics principles of thermometry and practical thermometers they are from the chapter of temperature now if you have seen the contents for the temperature of uh, chapter of temperature these two topics makes the complete chapter of the temperature. It means that in new syllabus, this chapter of the temperature is completely removed from the syllabus. Now next topic is from the thermal properties of matter and that topic is latent heat. Now all learning objectives of latent heat are being removed except one learning objective. And what is that remaining learning objective? That is Describe the latent heat as an energy required to change the state of a substance and explain in terms of particle behavior and forces between particles. It means that you now you simply have to define what is a latent heat. Other related topics, other related learning objectives related to the latent heat are being removed. Now next topics, next two topics are from the chapter of magnetism. Methods of magnetization and demagnetization and magnetic screening these two topics are also removed from the new syllabus next topic is from the introductory electronics and that is thermonic emission and cathode rays now the final topic the last topic that is the electronic systems but this was an optional chapter in the previous syllabus this was an optional chapter in the sense that questions from this chapter appear along with the questions of other uh, compulsory uh, chapters now for the students who are appearing in 2023, this optional chapter is completely removed. Now, this chapter is uh, related to the uh, computer system, means uh, logic gates and uh, things like that. So, it was an advantage for the students from the engineering background. But for uh, revised syllabus, this chapter is completely removed from the physics. Now, I'll discuss what are the new topics which are being added in the revised syllabus, uh, which will be uh, applicable from the year of 2023 and onwards. Now, these are the two main topics or you can say new chapters which are being included in the syllabus. <coughs> Sorry. First one is the momentum. Now, this momentum was the part of IGCSE previously, but this was not the part of O-Level. But in the revised syllabus, in the updated syllabus, uh, this topic is included in the O-level syllabus as well. This topic is related to the uh, uh, mechanics or uh, you can say motion and forces. Next topic that is very important branch of physics that is the space physics. Now this is a completely new topic, a complete chapter is being added related to the space physics. So these are the two main topics which are being added. Now, along with these two main topics, there are few additional learning objectives which are also uh, uh, updated. Just like you can see in motion, 
in balanced and unbalanced forces in equation of a spring constant you can see that few learning objectives are added means that these are the existing topics in these existing topics few learning objectives are added so this is the uh, how they have updated the syllabus means that they have removed few topics and they have added few new topics this is uh, the change in the syllabus now i will discuss okay, what is the new paper pattern i'll be comparing the paper pattern in the previous years with the paper pattern uh, in the year of 2023 and onwards now first of all uh, this is the paper distribution in the previous years there are four papers in the physics first one paper one is the mcqs paper paper two is the theory paper whereas the paper three is the practical test and paper four is the alternative to the practical uh, in short we call it atp now out of these four papers every student have to appear in three papers paper one and paper two they are the compulsory papers and student have to opt any of the uh, any one of the paper from practical test or alternative to the practical for practical test students have to appear uh, in the front of a examiner in the physics lab and to perform practicals uh, physically so this was the paper distribution in the previous years or you can say in the previous syllabus now we'll see okay, what are the changes in the uh, updated syllabus now if you see the updated syllabus in 2023 uh, you can see there is no change in the paper distribution again we have four papers and students have to appear in uh, three papers out of these four papers means okay, in paper distribution there is no change it is same like in, it was in previous years now i'll discuss uh, one by one each paper then we'll see okay, what are the changes in each paper now first of all paper one that is an mcqs paper now uh, in previous syllabus means okay, uh, in current years this paper consists of 40 marks and time allocated for this paper is one hour now if you see it in a year 2023 and onwards again there are 40 marks and time duration is one hour it means okay, there is no change in the paper pattern for the paper one it is quite same as it was in the previous years now we move to the paper two so this was the uh, uh, time allocation and the marks distribution in paper two in the previous years that there are total 75 marks of this paper and time allocated for this paper is one hour and 45 minutes so this is the distribution and time allocation in uh, current years or you can say up to the year 2022 now we'll see okay, what are the changes uh, in the updated syllabus now if you see the time allocation it is same as it was in previous years means okay, it is still one hour and 40 minutes but if you see the marks distribution so previously this paper had a 75 marks now this paper have a marks of a total marks 80 it means okay, five additional marks are added in this paper that means okay, there will be a little more content in this paper as compared to the previous years so this is the one change in paper two now the next change that is very important change in paper two that is previously this paper had two sections let me show you the first sheet of paper two so now you can see there are two sections section a and section b in section a all questions are compulsory you have to attempt all questions whereas in section b there are total three questions out of three questions you have to attempt any two questions this was the paper pattern for the paper two in the previous years now from the year 2023 and onwards what they have done they have just removed this uh, optional section it means okay, now there is no more optional question in paper two there is no optional section it means okay, all questions are compulsory previously this paper had optional questions in two different ways first there was an optional chapter as i discussed earlier there was an optional chapter of electronic systems so few questions uh, uh, there was a question 
uh, from that chapter so that question was also an optional question along with that there was a optional question in section b but all these optional questions are being removed it means that now all questions are compulsory every student have to attempt all the questions of this paper so this is the change in paper 2 now we move to the paper 3 so as paper 3 is a practical test so previously yeah up to the year of 2022 this paper had total 30 marks and the time duration for this paper is 2 hours it means that you have to complete this paper in 2 hours now in year 2023 and onwards you can see that total marks of this paper are increased from 30 to 40 and the time duration is reduced from 2 hours to 1 hour 30 minutes it means that number of marks are increased means that you will have more content but you will have less time to attempt this paper so this is the change which is made in paper 3 which is the practical test now we move to the last paper that is a uh, alternative to the practical now as every student have to opt from paper 3 or paper 4 it means that if paper 3 uh, marks of paper 3 are changed from 30 to 40 so definitely marks of paper 4 will also be changed from 30 to 40 it means that previously this paper had a total marks of 30 now you will have 40 marks now if you see the time duration previously it had one hour time duration again you will have the same time duration same, uh, same time allocated for the uh, to attempt this paper it means that there is no change in the time duration only the marks are increased from 30 to 40 it means that you will have a little bit more content now there is one change in uh, atp paper that change is that previously this paper didn't contain any planning question but from the year 2023 and onwards there will be a one planning question of six marks means that this paper will also contain a planning question of six marks so this is the change uh, which is being updated uh, in the atp paper so this is all about the change in the syllabus as well as the changes in the paper pattern so if you have any question any query related to any topic of the physics anything uh, related to the O level physics or IGCSE physics so you can contact me at my email address and or at my whatsapp number okay have a nice day